guys. This is A Train with Team Zyklon B for BehindTheBunker.com. Never underestimate the importance of a great weekend of rec ball. Pick up games where the points don't matter, but everybody has a blast. You can catch up with old friends. The parking lot's full of new people. And for a really great price, here at Excalibur Paintball in Battle Creek, Michigan, one of the Southwest Michigan's most established and largest fields, you can shoot up all your old paint before the snow comes for 20 bucks. See you on the field. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. One of the great things about uh, recreational paintball on a good rec day is you meet a lot of new players and a lot of first timers. Um, with me I've got Talon, Corey, and it's Christian's birthday. He's turning 14. Um, this guy's first day out playing paintball? Yeah. You bet? What'd you think? It was it was awesome. It was the best. It was the best? Now, what got you, why did you decide to do paintball for your birthday? Um, played it at uh, military school, and I got kicked out and sent back home. But uh, He's perfect for paintball. The last he's got the right attitude. Game. Outnumbered about, what'd you say, 50 to 10? Yeah. It was One of you came up with the plan to hold the Alamo at the castle. That was me. That was your plan? Yeah. What? Me. No. <laughs> no. It was me no. and Seth. It was, no, it was Seth. my we plan. We ran in and you were sitting there looking at the person scared. What? <laughs> okay. Was, yeah, we was like, we walked in. He was like, I shot the wall. Okay, first of all, I knew there was nobody in the castle because everybody else was out on the field. <laughs> they was following the rest of that team. Y'all didn't believe me, but finally, yeah, Seth did. I killed three people. I killed, I, I killed 50 people. Yeah, whatever. Seth finally uh, leaded us into the castle, got shot, and we went in the uh, back tunnel, and then he just walked in there with us. We took the last guy out, and that was, uh, we held it off from there. How many people you killed? Is this the story you guys remember? No. No. What, what happened then? Me and Seth walked in. Right. Car pulls up, who can it be? The fresh El Camino on Kilo G. He rolls down the window and he starts to say, It's all about making that GTA. Cause the boys in the hood are always hard Come talking that trash and we'll pull your car Knowing nothing in life but to be legit Don't quote me boy, I ain't said shit Bored as hell and I would've put my dad in that walk out that's a boy Nah, nah, that wouldn't have happened <laughs> So we took the castle, it was my plan with some help and commands from y'all, and that's it. Yeah, but... And then y'all held it off, because I got yeah. shot in the arm. Yeah. 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 But who, but, but, I don't want to do it right, relied on us killing the most people. Alright, then. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. I killed my three. <laughs> so would we agree that you come away with uh, an experience you'll never forget? Yeah. Yep. Nice. You guys play paintball again? Yeah. Yep. Play paintball video games? If we can find the game again, we'll play it. Basically, paintball simulator. Yeah. Like, shoot at TV. Right on. You got Xbox and PlayStation. They got paintball games for that, too. With the real players in them. With the real players. Yeah, legit. Real guns, real players. It's come a long way. We wanted to just say thanks for coming out and, and taking your birthday and inviting your family uh, to have a lifetime experience with paintball. Did you meet a lot of great people? Yeah, yeah, we met, well, we met I got the definitive version of what happened at that castle. I actually caught it in high depth. <laughs> so you know what happened. You know? I, I, Ray Charles can tell you what happened. It's yeah. on, it's on, I got it. it. There's no. You guys held the castle and you did a great job.
I've played with you guys before. You're not necessarily an established, what we'd say, a team, but you still come out together as a group. You don't really need to be a team to play paintball, do you? No. no. Or kick a little butt on the field. Right. You're right. handing it to them all day, baby. All right, the blue house. Blue house. Blue house. Blue house. <laughs> all right. Well, the one question, as we are all a paintball community, that keeps coming up is we seem to be, although we're growing, we're losing a lot of players. Why do you think that is? It's airsoft. It's got a lot to do with it. Yeah? You know, video games. I'd rather sit around and play a game. Right a lot on. of misconceptions out there, bad education. Uh, People just don't understand the sport. Right on. Laziness. You gotta spend time in the house instead of getting out, you know, and doing stuff. Right on. So just sometimes taking that first step out to the field and having that paintball experience. Ooh. Or maybe sharing it with somebody that we know. Like, that's how we all got into yeah. the sport. Yeah. Somebody said, hey, oh, yeah. any, any other things that would be hindering the growth of the sport? Hey, I was a vet. I was in Iraq. We convoy mm -hmm. missions out of Kuwait and Iraq. Mm -hmm. And the uh, only thing that's bothering me the most is these fucking Canadians coming into this game. Yeah. Really? Dude! Minor! Come on! Canadians! Oh, they can just wreck the moment, can't they? Sometimes we have to go back and, and get a fresh set of eyes to the game. Uh, is there anything you would like to see in paintball or something taken out of paintball or something you're moving forward in your game that you would be concerned about? Canadians. Sure Canadians. Let Canadians play. Yeah, I don't know if my mom would even let me play if there was Canadians in here. Mm -hmm. so, no Canadians. Well, the young, the fresh talent of paintball has spoken, so uh, we'll, do, we'll do our part. Definitely welcome to play with us anytime. And watch Behind the Bunker at uh, BehindTheBunker.com at 8 p.m. Eastern Time every Monday.